We can intellectualise all day about truth. We can talk about it till the cows come home, right? But unless you start feeling it, until that time occurs, it's all just going to be an, a pointless, in a way, intellectual exercise. Right? Now, unless you're prepared to actually start acting upon and feeling in your heart the emotions of truth and what they confront, then really the, ho the whole point of this discussion is lost. You follow me? The truth is felt emotionally just like error is felt emotionally. So you know when an error leaves you, many of you have already had this experience, when the error leaves you, you have, are, are overwhelmed emotionally, aren't you? And it's a terrible emotion, like it feels painful, right? Well, when the truth enters you, it's often an overwhelming emotion, but it's not painful. It's actually pleasurable. You know, when you cry for joy, that kind of a pleasurable emotion. Right? The truth will enter you emotionally, and the error will leave you emotionally. If the truth hasn't entered you emotionally, you will not change. Right? So let me say something like this, just a simple illustration. When you feel the truth emotionally, that every action you take towards an animal has an effect on how the animals treat you and how the animals and react with you. When you understand that truth emotionally, you will change the way you eat. Right? Mm -hmm. You will no longer be able to eat meat. I can guarantee you, it will just be an automatic change in you. Now, until that time, it's really pointless in a way in a lot of ways, it's pointless to intellectually change. But you can do that to trigger the emotion. So, for instance, if you gave up eating meat right now, knowing that down the track you'll give it up anyway, it'll bring up emotions. You know what bring up emotions of, I'm, every meal I eat, I don't feel full. Every meal I eat, I don't feel that nice, comfortable, full feeling, you know, that comes when I eat some meat, right? I feel like something's missing, right? and it will start bringing up the emotions as to why you eat meat. Right? Which are all emotional reasons, actually. Right? But, so you could choose to do that. Or you could choose to contemplate God's truth about animals. Contemplate the truth about how we're treating them. Contemplate the truth. Would you actually get right now, if we went outside, would you get a sheep and actually slit its throat and bleed it and then cut it up and cook it? right now. Would you do that? No. So why are you asking another person to do it? For you. Why are you doing that? Do you think that's fair? No. Really? Is it fair? Is it is it an honest thing to do? Now if you start to... It the truth a bit more. Sorry? Yeah, it describes the truth a bit more. That's why we do it. But the truth, the truth is that once you start feeling that, when you feel that in your heart, you won't be able to eat another piece of meat again when you feel that. And if you're not feeling it, then you've got to ask the question, what emotion inside of you causes you to not feel that? Does that make sense? Now, I'm not saying that all of you have to give up eating meat, am I? What I'm saying is, once you become in harmony with God's truth at the point of abundance, you will not be eating meat, I can guarantee you, because you will not be able to. <coughs> you will not be able to feel love for animals and at the same time kill them. Or ask other people to kill them for you. Yeah, AJ, I actually went through this process last year intellectually, yep. not to eat meat. And I found that it was okay for a while, but then I eventually went back, back to meat. A few weeks ago, you said, um, you know, the, the, do it for the, you know, for the love of the animal. And that, that was it. I was just, oh, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. And I was, I was away for work and a bit of a function. They had, you know, a, that was the meat like they do? Well, they, they did. And I had, had a little bit, a few prawns actually. Yeah. And as I, I actually looked at each prawn, oh. and I, I did eat a couple, but I felt really, really guilty about it. Yeah. And from then, I was... You can't do it now. Yeah. yeah. The feeling of pain. Because it's that emotional... Yeah. See, when you get into a state of truth, what will happen is every time you're out of that state, you'll feel pain. Uh, and the I truth is, you're actually feeling pain right now mm -hmm. when you're out of state of truth, but you're just not sensitive to it. Mm -hmm. You just become more sensitive to it as your soul opens. Yeah. AJ, how does this uh, affect me then? 
What, what action can I take? I run a small property with cows which are used for breeding velas. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, it's just the natural state of the cycle of the business that you send the velas off to the beef to market. The beef market. Um, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Mm. But is it, it's is because it, you need to allow yourself, though. but you need to allow yourself to feel your emotions. See, at mm. the moment you're willing to, you're willing to actually go through this process yes, <coughs> for a financial reason. Mm. Yeah, sort of. Mm. Well, it is for a financial reason. Because mm. why else would you be doing? It? Yeah, well, yeah. So there's an emotion tied in yeah. here. So. Well, I've always had a very big emotional contact with my cows anyway. Yeah. I bore my head off when I've got it out with yeah. the old ones and I've foolishly given names to instead of numbers and all this no, sort of thing. No, you haven't been foolish. No, well, I don't Not think so. I really <laughs> have a, a liaison with my yeah. animals. And yeah. I love, I can't bear anybody to come and So how in your heart treat do you justify them roughly? I don't other. know. I've just put up with that for years. So there's something going on emotionally. Yeah, it is. It's always that? upset me a lot. So let yourself feel that emotion now, and then you will know what to do. So I'm not telling... Like, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want to tell you what to do. What I'm saying is, feel your emotion. You will know what to do. If you really feel your emotion. If you sit down and look at how they made Kentucky Fried Chicken, Right? No. On the net there is a site dedicated to that entire subject. Right? And if you looked at it sincerely, you would never be able to eat a chicken again. Mm. What's it called? The site? I can't remember the site. Did you ah. Google it? And yeah. I actually did that when I was living in New Zealand. My daughter brought home a book about how they killed the chickens for yep. their product. And I made myself read this book and I was so upset. And I, I remember I had to go and pick the kids up somewhere. I was bawling my eyes out in my car and yeah. I, I really felt a really deep, but I've got, I have gone back. Well, to, so you I, haven't released the... But I really felt at the time I was like, I, I obviously haven't, but yeah. You haven't? There's two things we need to do when we're accepting truth, remember? We need to release the error. So what's the error? The error is all the grief that I feel about guilt and whatever that I've done all that in the past. There's the error. I also need to accept the truth. What's the truth? Right? And see, a lot of times if your conduct doesn't change, you're not doing one of those two things. You're either not releasing the error, or you're yet to accept the divine truth. One of the two is happening still. Yeah? So what I need to do is ask myself, all right, you know, I went through all of that terrible emotional experience, but now I've gone back to doing it. So there must be more emotion in there for me, or something that I'm not, not accepting from God that enters me yet to cause me to redo that. Now, by the way, I brought up this subject of meat, not to discuss the subject of meat, but to actually focus on, focus you on how the truth will affect your life emotionally. When you realise things emotionally, you will change, and you will change permanently. You won't ever be able to go back. And when you try to go back even, because you get resentful sometimes, or you feel, you know, the feeling of rebellion that pops up occasionally, right? And you try to go back, you'll find it so painful that you can't do it again. Right? That's how it works.